guys, how's it going? So I am back today with another hair review. So today's hair review is brought to you guys from Wild African. So this is a wavy ombre a lace front wig. So this is 100% glueless. So what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to style your glueless wigs on the mannequin head so that when you have somewhere to go the next day, you can quickly pop it on and go. This was actually the easiest install. Um, this is an easy method to style your wigs overnight without having the hassle of kind of preparing it during the, the morning when you're in a rush. And this style actually came out very cute, very nice. Like I said to you guys, this wig is 100% glueless. The cap construction and everything is excellent. They did add that perfect adjustable strap to this one, so therefore, I don't have to glue this one at all. So basically in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I style and I'm gonna do the deep wave style. So the deep wave that I'm using in this video, guys, is actually a bedhead deep waver. It does four different types of waves. Um, you can get like the nice, really crimpy, crimpy look, or you can get the kind of loose look. So that's what the deep waver looks like on the side. I'll actually leave the link down below for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing this one. I love this product. It gives you the best look, the best waves, and the best style. This is definitely a perfect look for the spring and summertime, so definitely get your hands on this deep waver from Bedhead. And this is not sponsored, by the way. If you follow me for a long time, you guys know I love a deep wave style. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to deep wave this wig, and then I'm going to come back and style this one on my head for you guys today. so this part is very simple so basically what I'm doing right here is just taking a little bit of the baby hairs off I felt like there was just a little bit too much on here so I'm just gonna tweeze a little off just to give it more of a natural appearance I am gonna go in with the got to be glue the black one just a little bit just to freshen up the baby hairs but so far I do like it a lot I did actually go in and just retwist that little knot at the top just to make it a little bit more perfect Honestly, when you do it on the mannequin head, sometimes it doesn't always come out as slick. But obviously, when you put the wig on your head, you can go ahead and adjust whatever you have to adjust. This is exactly what I did. Now, this is one method that I want to point out when you're wearing your glueless wigs. If you separate the baby hair from the perimeter of the hair, it'll give it more of a flat appearance. And it'll make it look really, really natural. So what I'm basically doing is using the hot comb to force the baby hairs away from the hairline or from the perimeter to give it more of a realistic look. Alright guys, 
so this is the finished look of this unit and I'm not even gonna lie y'all I really think that this is super duper cute so while well, African sent me this beautiful wig so I'm gonna read the specs off my phone so you guys have like all the information so this is the dark brown ombre color virgin Brazilian hair it's a 360 wig now this one is 18 inches long it's an ombre brown it's 150% density uh, the texture on this one naturally is a wavy texture so when you wet this unit it will have a nice wave pattern to it which is excellent now uh, this is a pre-plugged hairline it does have bleach knots which is excellent and it also has the elastic band which makes this unit 100% glueless now there is a coupon code which is Dominique 15 which I'll also link all this information down below if you guys want to purchase this unit and save some money so yet again this is another complete wig I've talked about um, while African having these complete wigs now this elastic band on here is like the bra strap style elastic band and when I tell you guys this makes a wig glueless the only thing that I used like the got to be glue on was the baby hairs I did not glue this unit down from ear to ear I didn't do any of that kind of stuff so this unit is 100% glueless I can snatch this off my head and replace it back and within a second so I will do the uh, lift up on the side screen so you guys can see how glueless this is once I lift it and lay it back down it's going to be perfect now one thing I did uh, this time which is a little bit backwards is I actually styled the baby hairs down like flat so technically in a way it'll make it a little bit more glueless because the baby hairs are put in position even when I lift this off the baby hairs will still stay in their kind of folded position and it'll just fall back down which is really cool now like I said to you guys there is no glue application the ear tabs on this one are a little bit um big for me so I'll probably end up having to cut these or I'll probably sell this unit and leave them like that so you guys can go ahead and customize the air tabs for yourself but what I like to show you guys in this video is how to style the wig on your mannequin head overnight especially if your wig is a glueless wig like this so with this type of wig you don't have to sleep with it overnight you can actually style it on a foam head and then just pop it on the next day that's basically what I did with this one and look at how freaking fabulous this wig looks I did have to readjust this part right here you guys can see it looks different a little bit so I did have to readjust adjust this a little bit just to smooth it out and have a more better transition but that is something I'm practicing on my uh, foam head to kind of show you guys easy ways to just style the glueless wig at nighttime pop it on the next day and keep it pushing like come on guys like all I had to do and this would be a real life scenario all you would have to do is put the wig down take a little toothbrush and some got to be glue and just swiggle those baby hairs in and then you're good to go so that's what you call a complete wig glueless wig a wig that you can style overnight put on the next day and just walk right out the house so I think that this is very pretty now I want to do the uh, the crimps uh, with the ombre their ombre is a little bit more subtle I did feature another ombre wig from another company but for some reason I like this one because it's very it's like subtle ombre and it comes up pretty high so therefore it transitioned very nicely I love how uh, they did pre bleach this as well I kind of wasn't gonna put the powder in the front but I just said you know what since I'm gonna show it to you guys I'm gonna go ahead and put the powder in the front but I do feel like it transitions very very nicely their pre plug game from wild African is excellent my re previous units that I reviewed I will actually link them cards up here for you guys each of the reviews that I did on their complete wigs guys their pre bleach game is so lit like like I feel like this looks absolutely stunning and it just transitions nicely one thing I was trying to show you guys when you're styling on the mannequin head or whatever on the night before for your glueless units um, one thing I like to do is separate the baby hairs from the perimeter so what you guys were seeing me do was just taking the hair and pulling it back and just kind of separating it with the hot comb this will cause there to be a natural baby hair separation instead of kind of like you know forcing the baby hairs out so using the hot comb and kind of separating the baby hairs from the perimeter will open up the wig and make it look very very natural without kind of having that glued look if you know what I mean so that's something I do and it definitely benefited me this time around because it looks like this is flawless and obviously I did lay this part down good this does have let's see about like three inches of parting space uh, not three it has about four inches of parting space which is not too bad if it did have six inches it'll be really really lit but I'll take it this way because I think it's great now I will list all the products that I use down below and they should pop up in this video but you guys know I use the Aussie Headstrong volume hairspray I use it in the maximum hold this is my favorite hairspray I use this when I crimp style this baby down as far as the powder I use I use the Maybelline fit me press powder in the number 360 and that's just what I use uh, to kind of get myself to blend with my skin and everything but like I said this unit came pre-bleached so you really didn't have to do that this already came perfect and nice 
I really, really love this for the spring and summertime. I feel like this looks so dope, guys. And all the pictures that I've taken for the thumbnails and everything and inserting this picture are HD pictures off my iPhone 8. So you guys can actually see what it naturally looks like. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram before I do these reviews. I always have a flash little look on my Instagram so you guys can see what the review is for the week. So, uh, yeah. So guys, I will leave all the information down below if you're interested in purchasing this unit from Wild African. Do not forget guys to thumbs up this video, leave your comments down below, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family, people, and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye!